was planning Little Bee's room makeover, I knew we needed a brightly colored rainbow rug somewhere in the mix. Rather than buying one, I decided to make one. Using some knit jersey fabric and some creativity, I came up with this fun and unique crochet t-shirt yarn rainbow rug. For this project, you need approximately 12 yards of knit jersey fabric in a variety of colors. I got mine from onlinefabricstore.net. Thank you so much for sending me this beautiful fabric, onlinefabricstore.net. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to purchase this fabric. Then you need to use the fabric to make balls of t-shirt yarn. I made a video tutorial on how to do this and I will link that above and in the description box below. Secondly, you'll need a size Q16 crochet hook. This is pretty much the biggest crochet hook you can find. To begin, chain 41 stitches with your first desired color of t-shirt yarn. I'm starting with white, but you could start with any color that you wish. When you're finished your chain, turn your work, chain one, and then single crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into each chain stitch until you reach the end of the row. By the way, this rug of mine measured approximately 27 inches by 50 inches when it was complete. Now turn your work again, chain one, and then single crochet into each single crochet stitch below until you reach the end of your row. Continue like this, changing your yarn color as you wish to create stripes. To change your yarn, cut your current yarn color about six inches from your work. Begin crocheting with a new color, leaving a six inch tail. For my rug, I made random size stripes but you could make them all the same height or create a pattern. It's totally up to you. Once you've reached the length that you want your rug to be, finish off the final row, cut the yarn about six inches from your work, and then pull this tail of yarn through your final loop. Finally, weave in all of the loose tails of your yarn into your work with your crochet hook. I absolutely love how this rug turned out. For now, we're having it in Little Bee's little art corner in her room. I think this yarn makes a really nice thick rug and I think it'll wash wonderfully in a washing machine. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIY and home decor ideas. And thank you so much again for watching.